thanks for coming along. <laughs> Boss lady, yeah, I wish. <laughs> like any of you pay any attention at all. <laughs> all right, so um, hi to Wes and Brett and Jenny, Linda, Di, Kim. Good, I'm glad you can see me, Wes. Yeah, we um, set up a scheduled event and then we were trying to work out how to actually um, get it to go live. So sorry that we're a, a minute or two late. Yeah, light blue top. You got the right dev then. <laughs> How are we all today? All right, fantastic. All right, well, we seem to have people in. I'm going to pop this chat out so I can see it a bit better. There we go. Going out, try again, audio. Yeah, try resetting. If it doesn't work in the live, just... um go out and try again glass of wine in hand yeah no I don't know how much mailing we get done with I'd stuff it up even more than normal all good in the sunshine state so you got sunshine Susie not rain and, and everything like you guys have been up there I was blind now I see <laughs> <laughs> Very good, John. <laughs> I'm glad you can see. Oh, wait a minute. My headphones are sitting beside me. I can hear myself. Let me just tuck those away. All right. Okay, well, I guess we might as well make a start since you were all sitting here waiting for us to turn up. So tonight we're doing uh, Dragon Toes which is a variant of Dragon Steps, which is a kit that we already stock on Aussie Mail. Um, it's aimed at experienced beginners. It's not a particularly difficult weave, so everybody should be fine with that. Wind yesterday. Oh, lost power last night. You guys get shocking weather up there. Ah, uh, yeah, it is only water. Sorry, sorry to uh, upset you all. I've actually been in bed all day, um, on painkillers so all I can have is water <laughs> uh, all right fantastic so as I was saying uh, dragon toes is the uh, weave we're doing today um, you guys it's fairly easy weave you guys should be able to get this no problem at all all right so what we might do is we might switch over to the other camera because I think everybody else everybody's on and able to see in here okay and um, we'll start. Okay. All right. So I've got a couple of pieces made up for you. Uh, so this is the 14 and 16 gauge version. So the 14 gauge uh, rings are 8 mil on the outside, the, the BA rings. And inside we've got 16 gauge 316s. Now this particular weave looks very different um, either side. So um, it's up to you which which way you wear it. So it is, uh, looks like this on this side, but if you flip it over, you can see the AA rings um, are closer together. So it just depends on which which way you like to wear it. But that's, uh, as I was saying, 14 gauge eight on the outside, 16 gauge 3 sixteenths for the AA rings on the inside. Um, that weaves up really well, nice, stable, easy to weave. This one is our 16 and 18 gauge. So 16 gauge on the outside, uh, BA rings are 6 mil ID. And inside the 18 gauge, 964ths or 3.57 mils for the AA. Um, again, this is a really good size for this weave. Makes a lovely bracelet, is very stable. I did run into some difficulties doing the 18 and 20 gauge because I wanted to keep it with the BA and AA. Um, I chose 18 gauge 5 for the outside and 20 gauge 1 8 or 3.18 mils. Now, unfortunately, 3.18 is just a smidgen too large and the rings do tend to slip out of, of alignment every now and then. Um, when I did Dragon Toes, a uh, Dragon Step, sorry, which uses the exact same ring sizes as this, um, I found three 
was best but um, I mean 3.18 can work but I just don't find it a particularly stable weave it's up to you and just to give you a comparison a little bit of dragon steps that I whipped up today so you can see with dragon steps oh, where's the stabby thing there it is the AA rings just run straight up and down and with um, dragon toes they're at alternating angles so that's it yeah Shirley uh, the 16 and 18 gauge I think is the best you know my preference the 14 and, and 16 gauge is, is lovely if you like the thicker bracelets um, but that would be my preference and that's the size that went out in the subscribers kits um, it's certainly I think the better size for it this one oh, it's a lovely dainty little bracelet but I don't think 3.18 is the best really if you go down to a 3 I think you'll be happier with that so I have done this um, in niobium in the three with a sterling silver I couldn't find my bracelet tonight to show you um, in the dragon um, steps I'm getting myself all confused with steps and toes here which I knew I would um, and it looks fantastic so three works really well 3.18 mm, it's not the, not the best all right so we'll make a start uh, where's all my bits okay so doing a 14 and 16 gauge we start off with uh, one closed ring in the 14 gauge in the BA with two of your AA rings hanging off. Put a twist tie on the end so you know which way we're going. And we're going to be building on top for this weave. So if you put your weave down and um, you know you pick it up and it looks what have I done? I can't even find one here. Like this where all the large rings are underneath each other. You know you need to flip it over. All our large rings are stacking on top of each other. Yeah, look, it is it is beautiful, Sharon. As I said, just with that 1.8, 3.18, just not the best size for the smallest one. But you may be perfectly happy with it. All the rings that you've got work. I mean, you know what it's like what works for one person may not work for the next all right so we've got our starting piece here of our one large ring and our two small and what we're going to simply do is take another one of our large rings we're going to feed it through the small ring on the left side of the weave and that's it just that small ring not the other one close that up okay and then we need to bring this weave, this ring back so that it sits on top of our previous large ring. And in this case, we want to have that loose AA ring sitting in the middle there. So this is as tricky as it gets for this weave. We then need to pick up another of our uh, BA rings. We need to lock this second ring in place. So we just go through both of those AA rings that are in there and that locks our second BA ring in place. Let me close that up. Okay so we've got this so far and you can see that the, the rings are starting to um, do their leaning thing. So what we want to do is the next ring we want to place is one of our AA rings and we want to place that on the opposite side to where these big, um, previous AA rings are. So our AA rings here are sitting on our left hand side. We want to place this on our right hand side and we want it to go through and pick up the two most recent BA rings and close them up. Okay, so that locks it all nicely in place. The next ring we need to place is another AA ring and this one we need it to go pick up the second BA ring through while it's inside here in between the two AA rings that were from the previous steps. So I'll show that again. 
Oh, now my work's gone whoop dish on me. Wait a minute. I dropped it and everything's moved. Give me a minute. There we go. Right, so you just need to come in and scoop up that second BA ring, keeping it between the two previous AA rings. And just close it up. Now we need that to stay in between those two rings. It may slip out on you. Before you place the next ring, make sure that it's sitting in between those rings there. Okay, it has to be in between those rings. Pick up another BA ring. We want to lock all of that into place. So we just feed it through the two AA rings. So making sure that this one over here is still in between those two. If it slipped out of place, move it before you put your BA ring in. Okay, and that's pretty much it. So we've got our AA rings on our right hand side this time, so we want to bring our new AA ring over to the left hand side. And we just pick up both of the BA rings. Close it up. And then we want the next one to go through this ring here, through the second one, making sure it's positioned in between these two coloured rings. Okay, so just like that. And close it up. And then we just lock those in place by feeding this the BA ring through. And that's basically the weave. Alright. Yeah, look, I think it's um, you know, as with everything, it's a personal preference. I don't mind the dragon toes. Um I like the tighter side, so I like this side a little bit more than I like this one that's all spread out. I think that one looks a little haphazard. I think the lighting's quite right tonight. That one looks a little haphazard. I think that one, you can see the pattern more, it almost looks like a vine going up and down the, the rings. Okay, so what we'll do now then, since we've pretty much shown you how to do that, is our little giveaway. Now, what was the thing you wanted, Chris? Dawn suggestion. Uh-huh. Three words to describe your workbench. Okay, did everybody hear Chris? So what we're giving away tonight is another tool from the depth of the workshed. Um, this is a twist and curl, which apparently allows you to create coils and bead wires. So it comes with a few different mandrel sizes. Some of these mandrels are metal, some of them are plastic. It's more for wire working, it's not for um, chainmail coils. But um, you can make yourself, you can see here on the picture, they've made you know a coil which they've then turned into a bead. Anyway, that's up for grabs tonight. So if I don't know if everyone heard you. So what was the question again, Chris? If you, you're interested in going into the drawer for this tool. Three words to describe your desk. Okay, so three words to describe your desk. Apparently this was Dawn's suggestion last week, Chris tells me. So type in the comments while we're live tonight. Three words to describe what your desk or your work area, I think, was what you mentioned, wasn't it? Um, and you'll receive a twist and curl in the, the mail, if you will. I'm not, I'm not that generous. So the mandrels in here, there's a 2.5, a 5, a 6.5, and then they've got um, some, there's a triangle one, there's a square one, and then it looks like some sort of rectangular one. So if you're into wire working, it might be a good tool for you. So just pop three words to describe your current work area. 
complete utter mess. I love it, Debbie. <laughs> you should have seen me frantically, uh, frantically cleaning up my desk tonight so I could actually put a camera on it. <laughs> Beautiful, extremely messy, busy, lack of organisation. Oh, Brett, I feel you. That's my song, I'm afraid, lack of organisation. <laughs> Loose ring central. Where's? Hmm. <laughs> I think that might be TMI, Wes. <laughs> Lap tray, messy, portable. Okay, messy but colourful, yep. Kitchen table, I like it. Dusty, hot and lonely. Okay, Dawn. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> All right, so while you guys are describing your work areas, I'll work on... I'll keep going on here just for anybody that's still interested i think though you guys are probably um pretty right with this <laughs> okay so um we got our aa rings on this side of the weave so we're going to place our next aa ring over here we're going to go through the two top ba rings um if i could stop dropping my rings tonight this would be great all right, so put it through there, close it up. Messy, messy, messy. <laughs> Semi-organised chaos. Very good, Stephen. Stephen, did you get your parcel? Let me know if you got your parcel. Okay, um, our next AA ring, we pass, we hook it through the second BA ring in our weave, making sure it goes between those previous AA rings. Fat lump central. I forgot about the fatty lumps. Fatty lumps, did you get your parcel? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that it looks like this. And then we grab another one of our BA rings and we feed it through those two recent AA rings and we close it up. Multi purpose table start mailing on outside. Okay, nice. Don't really have an outside area to mail. That's it. Oh, okay. All right. So you haven't received your your rings then. All right. Hopefully it should get to you on Monday then. I thought you would have had it on Friday. Okay. So we're just feeding AA ring through the two top BA rings. Tidy for now. Yeah, that's my test, Kim. <laughs> Won't take long for it to be destroyed as soon as I start doing any sort of work on it. And then we place the next AA ring through the second BA in the weave, making sure it goes through the previous two AA rings, and we close it up. Pop on another BA ring. Lock it all in place, close it up. All right, fantastic. Well, we'll put all your entries into a spreadsheet tomorrow or tonight if I'm, um, I'm having a sneaky coffee tonight. So maybe I might uh, do it tonight and let you guys know who the winners are. If I mailed outside, hubby would complain when mowing the flying rings. <laughs> rings in the grass, yeah. But my kids find rings up at the school, which is, you know, just crazy. They were there for like a year because we used to use the school for Malcon, and they'd find jump rings in the hall and everything all over the place. They're tricky little buggers. Lowered insert. Oh, okay. Yeah, we don't, um, I have to admit, I don't, I don't think I've ever mailed outside, to be honest. Bailey's in the coffee. I don't know if I've got any Bailey's. Uh, better not. <laughs> All right, so I'll just do one more repetition for anybody that's watching. I think though everybody's got this weave. Would I be right in that? Bailey's does sound good, I have to say. But just straight Bailey's. I won't even worry about the coffee bit. Just a bit of ice. Okay, all right. Well, if everyone's happy with that, I'll stop mailing. 
it's light to mine, it's hot. Woo! No, that takes it all off me. <laughs> you go into darkness. <laughs> Yeah, look, we've got a, I mean, we've got a, a huge backyard, but um, it's not, there's no shade or anything in it, so I wouldn't sit in our backyard. Got a very small entertaining area, but it's usually mm, full of leaves and rubbish from the tree that sits beside it, so I can't win. I get cooked and ducked. What is ducked? <laughs> That's how I get cooked and ducked. <laughs> all right um should i talk to them about the what we're planning all right we're actually planning a new product which we should have up or a new offering it's not really a product um just for christmas we're going to do up a chain mail advent calendar so you guys get to hear about it first uh what we're going to do is we're going to have these just these little boxes, little gift boxes like this. Um, they will all be different. They won't look exactly the same pattern on the outside. And inside this little box is um, going to be 24 little packaged parcels with the day numbers written on them for you guys to open up one a day. So they'll sit inside the box, la la la, there'll be 24 of them. There'll be something different each day, obviously. Um, and uh, so we've only got limited numbers of these. We'll only have about 20 on offer. We're looking at, we're thinking of looking at selling them for about $35. You'll get about a 50, 55 retail value for your $35 plus shipping. Um, but yeah, so this is what we're currently working on at the moment. So um, lots of little packages inside this, set it up as an advent calendar. Hopefully that's something you guys might like. So there'll be things like rings, beads, bindings. Uh, we're even going to throw a couple of kits in. Everybody will have something different every day. Okay, so um, that'll be coming out in the next couple of days, just um, while I get organised and get photographs done. And No, no, Lindy, Linda, not Lindy. I call you Lindy because you're on there. No, Linda, we don't open it on the first day. No. Maybe I should just send yours one a day. <laughs> you naughty girl. I suppose you open all advent colours in one go and just scoff the chocolate or something, do you? <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, Stephen, I'm sure she wants to stay married to you. <laughs> all right. So, yeah, so give me a couple of days. As I said, um, I've got to get photographs and, and all those sorts of things finalised. But, yeah, this is just something we thought you guys might like. So uh, you'll, yeah, as I said, 24 little packages. Uh, it'll be different for everybody each day. Well, it's going to be random. So you're not all going to get the same thing necessarily on the same day. No, I'm not going to put it up now, Sharon. Sorry, I don't have photos. Look, it was it was my plan to do it today. Unfortunately, I woke up feeling like my skull was being um, dug out of my head. And I got Jack done today. Otherwise, I would have had it up on the website for you. But I just thought I'd let you guys know that it's going to be happening. Um, yeah, so that's our little Christmas mail advent calendar. I haven't caught, come up with a cute name yet. I'm sure we'll come up with something. <laughs> you open it. Oh, no, we don't. We don't know advent colours, guys. It's one a day. Restraint. Chooks and ducks. All right, you have chooks and ducks store. We don't need pics. <laughs> you guys are crazy. I haven't got it set up. I'm really sorry. I will work on it tomorrow. I absolutely promise. <laughs> really, I had the best of intentions. I did. I did. And my stupid skull. I mean, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm all hot and sweaty and headachey tonight. But I will work on it tomorrow and I'll get it to you. <laughs> Well, how about you just send me the money then, and then I'll send it to you. And and we don't we don't even worry about the website. You guys have got my PayPal address. Thank you, Joe. The um Christmas mail calendar. Yeah, I don't know. I we haven't quite decided on a on a name yet. So, um, you know, if you've got a suggestion, throw it in there. <laughs> 
<laughs> pre-order but it's not on the website I'm sorry I can't I can't do it quickly it takes a long time to set up the website <laughs> just send me money <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> Lavender is good. Yeah, actually, um, I've got I've got my aromatherapy no place on, but I've got some patchouli sitting in it because I absolutely love the smell of patchouli. So a bit of lavender in that actually with the patchouli would be really good. Oh. So it'll be $35 dye is what we're thinking plus postage. Um, about 50 bucks. Really. But it'll be about $55 uh, retail value of stuff in there for you. 12 days of Christmas, Aussie mail made with me. <laughs> Delegate, get Chris to do it. <laughs> oh no, then it'll never get done, Sharon. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, he sucks at photos. He takes so long to take a photo, you end up pulling a face at him because you go and have you done it yet? And you've got this idiotic look on your face. So yeah, he's not in charge of photos. All right, guys, I will get that up to you for tomorrow. I promise. What's the flapping of the... Hot. You're hot? It is hot in here, isn't it? It's the lights, I think. The things we do for you guys, sit under hot lights. <laughs> All right, so the weave is done. That's what was spoken about. Um, the November kits have come out, so... Um, if you don't have your November kit yet, let me know and when I can check the tracking for you. Chris can sing a verse of the 12 days of Christmas. <laughs> Always. <laughs> no. <laughs> Chris is having a power surge. <laughs> I've got a headache, Susie. <laughs> Oh dear. All right. Um, so, uh, yes, this is our November kits to start next month. Um, subscriptions for the Mail Club will open up again on the 1st. Remember, guys, for uh, Christmas, we won't be doing the live videos over December. You'll still get your kits and everything, but we won't be doing these actual live sessions. And we should soon also be announcing our 12 Days of Christmas sale. So once we get those details all worked out, uh, we'll do that as well. All right. Well, I think we're done. So thank you very much for joining. You might have a gutter woman. I don't know what else it could have been in, Susie, after all those comments of yours. <laughs> thank you so much for coming along and joining us, guys. We really do appreciate it. If you get your wee finished, throw it up on Aussie Mailers so we can get to have a look at it. Now, don't forget that there's a special folder. I put that up there. I think you, for you, Susie, there's a special folder there uh, to pop any of your um, mail club pieces into. I mean, if you can't work out how to do it, that's fine. But it is there so people can find the stuff easier. Pop it up there and uh, we will catch up with you next week. All right, thanks guys. Take care. Bye.